Shukar Day. With, um, and I'm Chris McLean, one of the aquarists here. And we're in the Gulf of Mexico Gallery, right in front of our big Gulf of Mexico tank. And I'm here with Elizabeth Heath to talk about horseshoe crabs and how they molt. Yeah, hey everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. So we've got a few examples here that we can look at because horseshoe crabs are really unique creatures um, that grow in a very cool way. Um, so we have, uh, first we'll look at this juvenile horseshoe crab. So this is a little guy. So they grow by what we call molting. So their skeleton is all on the outside. So when they grow, they are gonna grow all of these parts that we saw earlier with their legs, their gills, all their exoskeleton and their internal stuff. And they're gonna grow all of this inside scrunched up in their current skeleton. And then when they're ready to molt, they actually crawl out the front of their shell. And we have a really cool example that Carissa has of what that looks like. So this is a crab that was actually in the process of molting. So you can see her molt on the back that's much lighter in color. And then the brand new fresh animal that's crawling out the front. And you can see an example of how all these little pieces and parts regrow within the shell and then she just walks out the front. And when she, if you turn her over, you can see and these cool little uh, patterns on her shell where she was actually scrunched up inside and has now grown and is expanding and filling up with the water around her. And it leaves these really cool little patterns on her shell. So when this uh, animal molts, they molt in really big in increments. So they don't grow a little bit at a time, they grow in leaps. So this is um, another horseshoe crab that actually is very freshly molted. So I'm just gonna turn her a little bit, but not touch her too much. But you can see how clean and pretty her shell is. Um, she's actually getting hard now, but they're kind of soft when they first come out. So that's why we're being very gentle with her. And this is what she molted from. So you can see this huge increase in her size. And they molt very quickly when they're young. Um, and then their molts spread out a little bit more. But these guys can get quite large. And if you're visiting Dauphin Island or some of the surrounding beaches, you might see some of these animals on the beach um, or see some of their molts or even a crab that's in the process of molting. So the best thing you can do if you come across these guys is always just let them be and enjoy them on the beach just like any wild animal. Um, and these guys are just really, really cool. They've been doing the same process, growing like this and living on our beaches for more than 450 million years. So we call them living fossils. And we're really excited to celebrate them today and right here at the Astorium.